to the channel guys in this video we are in, embarking on a journey we're here in seattle washington we're about to head out on a bucket list trip we got witty fred matt's here we're going to alaska and we're taking you guys along with us we've got a lot planned we're kicking things off with a couple days of sightseeing and then alaska raceway has actually organized a car show in the morning of july 3rd and during their big bracket series they've organized some streetcar classes for us just for us so we can bring out some street cars from the alaska car scene show you guys what they have to offer ever since we've seen the uh, alaska raceway views with the mountain at the end of the drag strip i've wanted to go see this it's been 15 years in the making we're about to make it happen we're taking you guys along with here we go Freaking Alaska! Yeah! How are the views? Absolutely. <laughs> the whole way landing, I'm just looking at Fred like. <laughs> are you seeing this? mountains forever? It's, it's crazy. Like, it's, a, it's a tundra of just mountains, and then it get, went really flat, yep. and then water, and then we landed. Hey! Nice. What's up? Tim, yep. how's it going? Good. Nice to meet you. What's up? These guys are hooking us up with the Yukon for the week. It was three thousand dollars for an SUV here in Alaska. The prices are ridiculous. All right, we're all loaded up. We're in Alaska. We're gonna go check into the hotel, get situated, and then tomorrow we're gonna go on a glacier tour. Yep. Thank on yeah. a cruise. We're gonna go see a real life glacier, boys. Hell yeah. First time for everything. Good morning from Wasilla, Alaska. It felt like a dream last night when we got here. The sun never went down completely, but we're up and early. We're up and at them early, and we're going glacier sightseeing on a little mini cruise boat, I guess. Apparently, the drive down is pretty epic. We're gonna be going through the longest tunnel, longest and deepest tunnel in the world, apparently. So let's hit the road and see what it's all about. different view over here. We made it through the tunnel, 25 miles an hour. We have made it to Whittier, Alaska for our second day here in Alaska. We are going on a glacier sightseeing tour on one of these ships right here. We just went through the longest shared car train tunnel in North America, 2.2 miles and a thousand feet under the mountain right back here. It's the only way in and out of Whittier. We're gonna go walk around town here see what this town's all about. It's a town of 200 people. They all live in one building right over here. And then we're gonna hop on our boat right here. Go check out some glaciers. Out here by the docks, you get a good view of Whittier. Fred, how many people she say live here? Uh, 200 year round. And she said in the summertime, that'll double. And they all live in that building right over there. <laughs> <laughs> the building has apparently has the grocery store, the hospital, the haircut place, has everything. All in that building? Apparently, yeah. And there's only one way in and out, the single lane yeah. tunnel. Yeah. Our glacier tour starts right over there in an hour. Next step on our glacier pre-tour, we're at the old Cold War, Cold War Army barracks, 1948. I built it. 273,000 square feet. Damn. All right. Now that we've got a chance to check out Whittier a little bit, we are going to hop on our glacier boat tour in one of these ships right here. Go see some sights.
big boy. Another show. Slow motion. We, we were just told by the captain here that we're in 400 feet of water and we're only probably 300 feet away from the shore right now. It's how, how steep the mountains carve down. Surprise Glacier. It's really impossible to show you the scale of what this is until you're here, and even when you're here, it doesn't make sense. The top of this mountain is a thousand feet. The top of that ice glacier is about 800, 700 feet. And that's probably a few miles away, probably two miles away over there. From the glacier view, what was your favorite? Uh, the whales, probably. The whales? Yeah. yeah. Fred? Probably the glaciers and the, like the cabbing. The big chunks of yeah. glacier coming off. That was, that was you see wild. some good ones? Yeah, it was wild. My favorite part was coming around this corner and just seeing probably 20 fishing boats stacked. Oh, yeah. And they were catching all the salmon that are coming in and just with like the crazy mountains and the blue sky and then the green trees and all of it just right there. I'd say my favorite part is just the scale of everything. Like even being here, you can't understand how tall things are. Like the top of this mountain up in the clouds there, that could be a mile, that could be a mile and a half, that could be two miles, I have no idea. It could be a quarter, definitely bigger than a quarter. Watch this. We are on our way up to Hatcher Pass, somewhere up there. But along the way, I wanted to check out this river. Wow. Mainly for Witty to get a long exposure photo here. We will uh, show you what that photo looks like right now. We've seen Hatcher Pass, 3,400 feet. We're gonna go see what we can see from up here by the waterfall. Damn, the sound. The sound is crazy. This is nice, look how high up it is. Wow. We are still climbing. It's about 11 o'clock at night right now. Can you believe this? Are we there yet? Oh my God. <laughs> False hope. I thought we were at the top. It looks like we're at the top from here. Damn. Oh, it's just right up here. <laughs> Water's gotta be coming from somewhere. Woody says he found the lake up here. Whoa. Lassie, all the rocks down there in the lake are just perfect skipping rocks. Just flat, <laughs> nice rocks. This is where the water's coming from. Yep. That was a hell of a hike. All right, is this the final epic overlook right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The ponds are back here. We started down, down here. They're trying the, the stream water. They're like soft and smooth. It tastes like fresh water. I don't if, know. If, if we die, really this, is the, this is the pond that it came from. Our first full day of sightseeing here in Alaska was a great success. We're giving the brakes on the old Yukon a little break uh, coming down the mountain here because we are up here at like 4,000 feet elevation. It is just past 1130 at night. Look how much sun's left. We got three and a half more days here in Alaska. Let's get to it. Day two in Alaska. We're starting off the day with more sightseeing. 
We are, uh, as you can tell, we're going kayaking. Where are we at, Witty? Some lake that I can't <laughs> I was going to put it on you. A Klutna Lake? Oh, uh, Fred? Uh, we're going to put the spelling on the screen. You guys can pronounce it yourself. There we go. E -K anyway, we're going to do some more sightseeing. <laughs> oh, my God. We have a very important question before we start. How do you pronounce the name of the lake? Aklutna. Aklutna, all right. So three miles to this point over here, and it's four miles to that point over here. The scale of this is ridiculous. How far is it to the other beach over there, approximately? Three quarters of a mile. <laughs> oh, yeah. Out in the middle of it. It's gonna be a good day. Did it. Sure did. Got the horses down there. It's time to check off a few more bucket list items here in Alaska. Next up, we are heading street racing. It's a little bit of a drive down to Mexico, but we're on our way. And uh, we understand that the car turnout didn't quite, uh, isn't quite what it was supposed to be, but we're gonna have about three to five cars. We can check that one off our list. <laughs> This is a nitrous Camaro down here. She all good? Lost reverse. No reverse. No reverse. No, reverse, no trans brake. Oh man. We'll foot brake it and keep going. That might be for the better. <laughs> Probably don't need a trans brake out here on Virgin Road. Right? That part just sets up all my traction control. Oh yeah. So we'll Shoot. see what happens. coolant line he's got it back in the trailer they're gonna get fixed for the track tomorrow but uh, I might get some more runs in the Camaro sounds like it's a little hot so he may not run again we have maybe we'll get a rerun with pork chop 
and the uh, the pickup. So you live, have you seen your black marks over here? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It looked like the boost ramp was just like a half second behind. Yeah. Like it was just kept hazing, 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 and then it got worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that whole front weight bias thing is not a pro. Was he ahead of you at the finish? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got me by a few cars. Okay. I, I tried reeling him in, and it's like the more I press down on the throttle, the harder I could feel it spin. It was just like. <laughs> it's not like, happening. Come on. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, so with the trailer on, usually it's pork chop on. Diesel, diesel races. They do things a little different out here in Alaska. So a few cars showed up for some for some basically test hits, and then oh, he's doing a burnout. So we're doing diesel truck versus diesel truck. This one's got a trailer on it though. we had all day right. or night wait night whoops night it is exactly midnight so it's technically the next day <laughs> the comments have the trailer right what the comments have the trailer was that with yeah the yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> Beat him with the trailer. Well, unfortunately, things not going down exactly how we were hoping tonight. Didn't have a big car count here, but the guys came out here, put on a show. A few of the cars breaking, so we're gonna have to call it early. But it's midnight here in Alaska. The sun's still up. The views are beautiful. We're still having a great trip. We're gonna go get some sleep and get ready for a long day at Alaska Raceway Park tomorrow. After all these years, we have made it to Alaska Raceway Park. I've seen the views here for years, over 20 years, and wanted to come here, and we are standing here on the property. Before we get to racing, I wanted to show you around the track. We keep hearing this in the pits. This place is a view with a racetrack, not the other way around. So let's show you what Alaska Raceway Park is all about and show you some of these beautiful views. views of the track we're here in the staging lanes we're gonna check out all the cars and then the view right here Alaska Raceway Park here is at 62 feet elevation Pioneer Peak up here 6400 feet all the way up there it's straight up just like all the mountain ranges here in Alaska the scale of this state is just unreal the Alaska Raceway Park greeting crew is here Michelle we've been talking on the phone for months Yep. Thank yeah. you for putting everything together. You're so welcome. We're excited for a big day. It's going to yeah. be... Yeah, and it's beautiful out I know. Right. Michelle runs Alaska Raceway Park here. We've got a bracket race going on this morning, this afternoon. Yep. Yeah, bracket and, race, and then we have our top eliminator cars, which are all the alcohol, nitro, uh, funny cars, dragsters, pro mods. We've got some really cool pro mods up here. Fast so, stuff the pits. Yeah, some fast stuff, and then we're going to switch over to the street races in the afternoon. Run all day. Nice. we got sun forever, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we were looking at pictures, like there's no lights at the track. How are we gonna do this? It must get done early. Yeah. There's sun till midnight. Sun till midnight. Yeah. yeah, we can just race until we're done. So. <laughs> well, thanks for all your help putting yeah, this together. We're excited to be here. We're gonna go some more cars, meet some more people. Okay, thanks. Cool. thanks. Now we're out driving through the pits with Pioneer Peak in the background. Some of the most organized pits we've seen all marked out. And you'll notice all of the cars have Alaska plates. You're not gonna see anybody here from out of state unless they're really dedicated. We've got an imp important question for you guys. Does this view ever get old? Is this normal now? It's this warm, it starts getting old. 
Yeah, okay, all right. This is this is nice for us. We filmed 100, 105 degrees a week and a half ago. But they're having a heat wave here in Alaska. It's 78 degrees, and it's really hot for them. We were filming race week. Next up on the tour, past the dinosaur, we are heading down here. See what it looks like at the end of the track. Basically going to be at the very bottom. Yeah. Track? I think there's a sand pit. There's not a sand pit. There's a river. And then there's a the mountain. So. Yeah, the river will stop you. It will. <laughs> Made out here to see a little bit closer via Pioneer Peak. We've come, well, it'd be three quarters of a mile to come down here to see what it looks like. Just to give you a perspective of how big this thing is. Talking to one of the locals, they said they watch the weather up here in the fall to know when they need to put their race cars away as the snow starts getting closer and closer to the track. That's when they know they need to put their race cars away. And here at Alaska Raceway Park, their racing season is between three and six months long, depending on how fast the snow melts and how quickly the weather rolls in in the fall. So there's not that long of a season. It's like May to September, right? Yeah. It's real If they're short. lucky. Real if short. they're lucky. And some of these guys put lots of money into their cars to race it for maybe five months a year. Looking at the photos online, doing our research of what the track was like, I was like, wait a second, I don't see any lights here, but they don't need lights because it gets dark basically never. Yeah. Like midnight's when it starts getting like dusk or like 11 to midnight, it's dusk time. And then by about one, it's like mostly dark. <laughs> yeah, but it gets it get it never the sun never sets completely no, at this time no. of year. So you basically have 20 plus hours of sunlight and then dusk time, a little bit of dark, and then it comes right back. So no need for lights out here at Alaska Raceway Park. So now between the track, which we're down about three quarters of a mile down, the trees here, just on the other side of the trees, there's a river that comes off of a glacier way down here, right in front of the mountains. It's about a 15 minute hike through the forest here. We'll, we'll put the drone up here just to show you what the terrain looks like. One thing that's really tricky about this track is all the maintenance, all the upgrades they have to do, they have to do during race season because it's too cold, too snowy, they can't get through the ground when it's frozen. So not only do they have a three to six month racing season, but major upgrades like this have to happen before they open in May. Not easy. Racing's just begun here, Alaska Raceway Park. Let's go through the pits and see what kind of cars are here in Anchorage, Alaska. A lot of cars have traveled here for this race from hours away. Fairbanks, I think, is like five or six hours away. The staging lanes are pretty, pretty packed right now. Fox body, Audi, a chop top. That's pretty sweet. Big block Chevy truck, Mustang too with the mullet hell yeah nice what's up how's it going oh yeah. look at that puerto rico oh, yeah. sticker yeah. badass love the car I, have too. I love it we got so many fans out here in alaska oh, yeah. c5 rear c4 hatch c5 side skirts and vents c4 everything else <laughs> It's the C4 and a half. C4 and a half, if you want to call it. I like that. Yeah. That really threw me off. It has a little bit of switching up on it. <laughs> Definitely won't run by another. No, I have never seen anything like this before. TRX in the house. These are my friend's vehicles, so. <laughs> Not mine, but they trust me somehow. <laughs> you drive it, and your buddy's hitting the patch. Yeah, he just tells me that ride. What? Yeah. He messaged us on Instagram. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. What was your name? Sheldon. Nice to meet you, Kyle. Good to meet you, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm a uh, Mopar Muscle 14 on Instagram, so. Okay. That was me, so. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to Alaska. Hopefully you haven't gotten eaten alive by our mosquitoes. Ah, uh, the first night was pretty rough. <laughs> you know, yes. We were yeah. warned, but we didn't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, you're, if it's your state bird, but it definitely should be. It is the state bird, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So are they oh, switching yeah. seats when it gets up there? Yeah, so that, that is that's the owner of the vehicle. Okay. And he said he switches seats and he just tells him left, right, whatever. So he's done an 11 1. 11 1's his like best? Here, come on, look up. <laughs> this is great. All right. All right, so completely blind with a navigator in the passenger seat. That's gonna be a tough part of doing this. 
Oh, there we go. Keep stage. So after watching you run down the track, I'm curious how the reaction time part works here. What's the science behind this? Because that was a pretty damn good light. Chad tells me when to go. Break, break. Okay, first bulb's lit. Nice break. A little bit more. Bump. Okay, get ready. Go. my brain it goes to my foot so yes I do fall asleep at the light a little bit <laughs> but even on a good day I still cracked off at 12 line 7. Line, yeah that wasn't bad what what is your best reaction time um I don't know I can't read I bet you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay by the way I wasn't sure if we we're gonna put it in the video or not but I came up to meet you and I went to fist bump you I had no idea I like had my fist in your face, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but you didn't see it, so you don't know. I thought you wanted my lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking, I love this guy. <laughs> That's great. Next up here at Alaska Raceway Park, we have the top limiter group. They've grouped all of the fast cars that like the uh, blown alcohol dragsters, pro mods, all into one group. It's more of an exhibition here rather than a bracket race. <laughs> The glacier shaker. I see. My eyes are watering. Can you see like the shock waves going down the track? It yeah. was like clearing the dust off. Oh, yeah. I didn't think we'd see something like that. In no. I think we'd see a six. Oh, the glacier is, shaker. That is sweet. <laughs> That's amazing. Six fifties here in Alaska. They have some fast stuff here. Hey. 
<laughs> the okay. glacier shaker quickest pass on the property today is this like an old school nitro funny car it is it's a nostalgia nitro funny car 75 aero body yeah. you just got it recently no actually we've partnered up it's uh myself gary muller and randy harris uh, randy harris been racing down here for darn near 50 years partnered up and went nitro this year i've had an alcohol funny car out here for oh since 06. So gotcha we're not new to the game but what was that a 650 yeah, we're at a 650 at 224. The car should be in the 580, 590 range, wow. about 240. For you. That's where we want to hit. That's the sweet spot. That's where we How want long have you been driving it for? Uh, this one, two years. But again, we're you know, new combinations. We're figuring it out. Yeah. We never ran nitro before. Um, but uh, yeah. What's the power plant in it? Uh, the power plant's uh, Key Black Emmy, um, about 483 cubic inch. 1471 high helix on it about 82 percent nitro 82 percent okay i'm sure it looks really cool at yeah. night if it ever gets dark oh yeah what times it get dark here where you can see the flames uh september okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> good answer well this is badass man congrats on the pass all right appreciate Love it, it. thank you Your number 666. Yeah, I've had you always it. request that one for the demon. Uh, I've had it for a few years. Yeah, they nice. Usually, usually keep your number. Are there many demons in Alaska? There's five. Five of them, and I'm the only one doing this. So. <laughs> That's what they're built for. I know, but people like to just put them, them away, away, and yeah, exactly. What's your best time on a 10 3? 10 3 without the front. I was hoping for better today, but it hasn't happened yet. Damn. Five demons in Alaska. He just told me he's the only one at drag races. The rest of them are put away collector's items. Props to him for driving this and using it for what it's for. <laughs> here in the bar and lounge which is which is pretty cool in here but you know the view is much better outside this is this might be my favorite hangout view of the track yeah not bad not bad at all you can see the brand new retaining walls they just put in this year they put in a brand new timing system this track was built in 1965 and they're doing a lot of really nice improvements to it to keep it working so well.
I just gotta come over here and see how many miles are on this thing. Oh, it has 60,000 on it. 60,000? Yeah. It looks like 60, or like 60 yeah, miles. I've had it for 20 years. Really? Bought it from the original. I've been a garage queen, but take it out on nice days, that's about it. Yeah? <laughs> that's amazing. It's hard to find one in good condition. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't know how the year was. I haven't been here in seven years. I turned a low 12. I'm hoping to do it. 12.99 if I get to That's your goal, 12.99? Yeah, I, read, I just put a uh, Holly Terminator X in here. I'm going to try to dab log it. So. Okay. Not very good air for supercharger. No, uh huh. Well, good luck. Oh, ooh, look at the blue inlaid in there. Man, I think it's nice. There's a little bit of everything here at Alaska Raceway Park. We've got domestics, imports, classics, everything. Front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive. It's a, a great variety. And a lot of people have come out here to show up their cars for us. We appreciate it. Lightning and stereo lining up. I was talking to him a little bit ago. He just got a power glide in this thing. First time testing it. That was a wild ride. Did you see the reaction time though? Mm -mm. It was like 0 0.072 for a stick car. Not bad. Pretty good. Not bad. So I heard you broke it. it did. Uh, ah. Like a 50 cent roll pin, I think. So, yeah. so the transmission is no good right now? No good. Damn it. Well, we got to check it out. Yeah, man. Yeah, I keep hearing that you've got the quickest ET for a street car at the track. What, 850 what? It went uh, 856 at 164 last fall. Stick shift. Yep, stick shift, still archaic, 4.6 liter, stock headed, uh, Whipple 3.0, a little bit of boost. So, that's about it. Not crazy, Holly. Ignite red. But yeah. The quickest street car at Alaska Raceway is a stick shift car. Imagine that. Well, that is fing sweet. <laughs> nice work. Have you dynoed this? Uh, it made right at 1,000 last year on low boost. Uh, it's probably making 1075, 1100 right now. So, you're putting that power to use perfectly. Next couple of years, goal is to have the car in the sevens with a with a PD blower. Around three thousand. <laughs> Still pounds. stick shift. Still stick shift. H pattern. Do you know? Do whatever we can do. So. Well, thanks for bringing the car out. Sorry yeah, about man. the bad luck. We'll have to come back and, and film yeah. it another time. Be good to have you guys come back up next summer, and make an annual trip. So. Yeah. That'd yeah be sweet. Thank you. Yeah, dude. You guys ready to go touch the car show? Do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's go see what we can find. The car show turnout ended up being epic. Thank you to everyone that came out here. Look at the crowd. I'd say there's close to 200 cars out here. What do you guys want to check out first? Uh, let's see. I don't know where to start. We've got best domestic, best import, and our overall 1320 video choice to choose out of all these cars. Got some of the classics. The clean first gen Lightning. The import section over here. There's some. There's some nice ones. We got a Supra, MR2, the CRX is clean yeah, as well. Yeah, really cool. I like that. S2K has got a turbo on it. That is pretty nice. White ITR. Is this a 14 or 15? This is a 13. Both. I oh, was a 13 with a 15 front end. That is nice. Oh, the NSX. 
Alex. How's it going? What's up, guys? How much? White ITR. That's sweet. Original. Yeah? Yes, sir. You bought it new? Brand new in 1998. What? The color on this. Yeah. Got swap turbo kit. Yeah. Big turbo. Wide body kit. Alright, so we looked at a decent amount of the imports. Do you guys have a favorite for best import? I vote either that CRX or this S2K. It's just super uncommon to find a CRX in good condition and all the way up here. It's probably pretty tough to get yeah, in good shape. That is nice. What are you thinking? Uh, blue S2K. It's got like a side winder looking turbo setup on it. It's shaved bay and the outside looks incredibly good. I really like the S1315 the white ITR and the blue S2K. So I think that, I think that narrows it down. What do you think, Woody? Oh, man. I think that I have to agree one of these two. All right, the overlap is that. Yeah, so that's, the, that's the lowest common denominator. The S2K is. is the one that's got a lot of work done to it. And the CRX is just really clean for being yeah. out. This is but, a 1320 video car show. So he's got a big ass turbo on here. Yeah, right. and it's well displayed. All right, go, best import we got down. All right, All right best import is figured out. I'm gonna do domestic next? Yeah. All right. Go for it. Oh, wow. It is kind of balloon lighting. The lightning is sweet. Camaro. All right. All right, show me what you like about it. Well, C10, it's really clean. I like military stuff. It's got a military theme to it. It's got an LSA. I'm guessing it's got, I don't know, like a 4L80 or something like that. It's, just, it's a really clean car. Yeah, like nice I like the scheme on it. It's got a blower. I mean, it's, it's supercharged. It's it looks sweet. like down to the frame, it's been totally redone. The paint's immaculate, it's all custom. There's clearly been a lot of work put into this. All right, this one's gonna be tough. We got one last award. 1320 video choice. You there, pull over. <laughs> Makes me so happy to hear, see it driving. Oh, I hear it. So they say the perfect vehicle doesn't exist. Well, this is a mid-engine, okay. all-wheel drive, turbocharged, Van truck with a cosmic roof. Yes. Where's the engine at? Right oh, there it is. The turbo's under there. <laughs> That's so cute. Do you know how many of these were made? Any idea? I don't know how many are made. I just know that there's zero of them registered as on the streets in America right now. I was gonna say I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never this seen one. This is the only one. This and is the only one that's on the street. Right. Wow. Yeah. Right now. So with I've the, the I've never seen the cosmic roof. I've never seen the truck part of it. Yeah, the deck van. It's, it's a real, real weird combination. That's it's. I love Thank it. You. Oh, there's two things I forgot about. Okay. It's right. But wait, there's more. There, but wait, there's more. It's right hand drive, and it's a manual. I didn't even mention those two things. Yeah. This is the perfect vehicle. This is so hard. Come all the way to Alaska. We only get to choose three cars, but that's all right, because there was a lot, of, next time. a lot of cool shit to look at here. Any, any other 1320 choice? Any other 1320 I'm choice? I'm pretty happy with our choices. Yeah? You guys gonna make your picks? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. The um, best domestic, the C10 with the okay. Army yep. paint scheme. Gotcha, gotcha. Best import, the blue S2K with the turbo. Okay. Because it's it's yeah. recent. There's so many nice imports out here, yeah. but that one's got some performance and the paint was amazing. 1320 video choice. This one is going to ruffle some feathers. It's not even washed. Does it ever get washed? Um, Does it, it look like it's ever been washed? I don't yes. think so. Probably a couple times. Okay. Yes. It's basically the best vehicle ever. Ever? <laughs> I feel like you guys were camped out by it earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Saw you guys scoping it you out saw us. earlier. Yeah. Yep. We checked no, it out sure. a few times. Yeah, no. I don't even remember what it was called. Uh, a tar. Yeah, but what's it say on the front? Oh, Arturi. Artu 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 anyway, it's the van truck yep. thing. Right there. He said that's the only one. Yeah. If it's 
seven people. <laughs> we got some gifts from Alaska. What do we got here? We got some bear meat pep sticks. This is actually hunted from a bear here in Alaska uh, about a month ago. So this is about as fresh of uh, bear meat as you can get. Well, we were a little frightened about getting eaten by a bear. The, the rules have turned, luckily. We're going to enjoy some bear today. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Nice. There you go. It is 9 o'clock at night. I'm still wearing sunglasses. We have amazing views of Alaska Raceway Park. It's time to go race. We've got the cars lined up in the lanes right here. We're starting with hard tire, going to Greg Radial, then Slick. <laughs> nice. It's going to be a badass drag racing here. Alaska Raceway Park put these class together just for us. We're going to see some drag racing right now. I don't think there's going to be any beating that plaid tonight. That's going to be a tough one to take down. Big firearm in the pits. Oh, shit. It looks like they got it out. That was fast. Well, the crews got over here fast and got it out quick, thank God. I don't know what was going on. There was this flames billowing it out of Never that a dull moment in Alaska. <laughs> We don't need fire out here. They got enough wildfires up in the mountains. What happened? Electrical fire. What? Electrical fire. Holy shit, that was a big electrical fire. I went to plug my phone in, went back to work on the car, turned around, saw it, just smoke billowing out of the window. What? Grabbed my phone, what? I didn't even know what I was oh, grabbing fire. for.
slick glass. Here we go. Definitely bittersweet. 10 o'clock curfew shutting us down. I know it's hard to believe. I got sunglasses on. The sun is out right now. But the uh, the experience we had here at Alaska Raceway Park was unlike anything I could have imagined. After seeing this view 20 plus years ago and wanting to come here, never really thinking I would be here, and standing here with the crew for the first time ever, and the entire Alaska car community coming here and partying with us. One of the biggest turnouts they've ever had here, which is a, a part of the reason we had to shut down early. I can't thank everyone enough for coming out and putting on a show for us, coming out to meet us. The car show crowd, the bracket racing crowd, the streetcar crowd all coming together, hanging out with us. We had one all the time. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been to Alaska, you just got to come see it for yourself. Now it's time for a little jet boat action. <laughs> this is going to be wild. What's the power plant in this thing? What's that? What's the power plant in this thing? Uh, it's a Yamaha SPHO supercharged about 320 horse somewhere in there. Heck yeah. <laughs> the camera you'll be viewing Nate from most of the day is uh, right there. <laughs>
I gotta be honest. I didn't even know we were going on jet boats today. I just heard we got some friends that can take you out on some boats on the river. I'm like, cool, let's do that. Here we are, <laughs> the middle of Alaska. Nate and Chad have been hooking us up. These guys have some badass machines and they're about to do a flyby. They said these things can do 65 miles an hour. I told them to prove it. Let's see if they can do it. <laughs> the rooster tail. Oh, here comes the, the fast flyby. Oh shit! No! Okay, just a I was gonna drench me. hope that one of them doesn't fall off right here. <laughs> if you do, we go full throttle. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get much more Alaskan than that. Yeah! I fucking saw one. Place yeah. <laughs> your waves. Wow, it really disrupts everything around here. All right, we cooked our hot dogs up on the uh, the beach here. We're gonna head back to the glacier. See if we can get up on top of that thing. Just hopped on a glacier. I'm literally standing on the Spencer Glacier right now. <laughs> How wild is this? This is pretty damn. Spencer Glacier. Not a bad place to hang out at midnight. Exactly. It's time for us to depart the Spencer Glacier. We had a great time here. It's 12:30 in the morning right now, and there's literally sunlight right now. It's like it's like 9 p.m. back home. We're gonna go check out some of the ice that calved off of the glacier, and then we're gonna get down the the water. It's really cold right now, so we're gearing up. Got all our jackets on, ready for a cold ride back. What an amazing experience! Here's all the ice that came off. 
off the glacier floating through the bay. All, this chunk and this chunk and all these chunks over here just came off the glacier. We're checking out what fell off. Wow. It's just, it's like glass. It's crazy. How old do you think that is? A thousand, two thousand years? What's that? A thousand, two thousand years? Oh, probably more than that by far. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Well, we just made it back to shore 1.30 in the morning. Who knew that jet boating in Alaska would be so wild? Got to stand on the glacier, got to watch it calve off, cruising back 65 miles an hour, doing some donuts, and we had a wild time here. Thank you to Chad and Nate for showing us a great time. I, I don't even know what to say. All right, last full day in Alaska. We're taking out some side-by-sides. I've been wanting to do this, and we managed to lock it in last day. Let's go do it. First pit stop, check out the view. This is insane. The car launch was over there. The drag strip is over there. You can see the water. Anchorage is like right over, just past that area, I think. You can see it all the way up here. One way you can get here is hiking this or dirt bikes. Very brisk and moist up here. You got some glacier water? Nice. Doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> 